This is no one from nowhere, and I am, and you are, a Spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about who really wrote the New Testament. First, a quote by Wayne Gretzky. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Thank you. Somewhere lost in history is a fellow named Theophilus. So far, archaeologists poking around in the dirt have turned up nothing about him. But many Christians would really love to know who he was, where he was at, and since he is the reason nearly a third of the New Testament was written. The two huge books of Luke, the story of Jesus and Acts, the story of how the church got started, are actual letters to this mystery man. It seems as though the writer, identified by early Christian leaders as a non-Jewish doctor named Luke, is trying to reach Theophilus about the widely misunderstood Christian religion. One theory is that Theophilus was a Roman official in charge of Paul's trial in Rome and that Luke wrote these letters in Paul's defense. This would explain why Acts ends with Paul awaiting trials in Rome with no word about the outcome. Yet perhaps Theophilus was a Christian who hired Luke to research the birth of Christianity and to get it in writing before all the eyewitnesses has died. Whoever Theophilus was, we owe him. Without Luke's letters, we'd be missing Christmas, the story of the baby, Jesus lying in a manger, the parable of the Good Samaritan, the widow who do donated her last mite and penny-like coin of measly value, the parable of the prodigal son, a young man who loses nearly everything but eventually finds his way home to his loving father. But perhaps the greatest thing that we missed most of all is a single word, Savior. Matthew and Mark skipped the word. John used it only once. But Luke's entire gospel spins around this word and the idea behind it. Luke's story isn't just good news for Jews, it's great news for everyone. An angel puts it this way, I bring you good news that you will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem. Luke 10, 2, 10 through 11. So there you have it. Theophilus hired Luke to write nearly over two -third, or one third of the New Testament, and he is the only one that word, worded the coin phrase Savior. I love you, and so does God, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. In Jesus' name, amen.